Hello, life is creating and sharing. Today, I would like to share with you kangaroo apple. Alexander, you always ask me, you say, Mama, I know kangaroo in Australia and now apple in our backyard, but we don't know what is kangaroo apple. I say, yes, look at the tree, Alexander. This is only one month old from the seed. And they have beautiful, beautiful purple flower and it's really, really tall and they have beautiful tomato-like fruit. They are a nice shaped family, just like tomato. But they're different from tomato. They're 13 feet tall and they are perennial. They never die. My San Francisco house is 17 years old, and very, very tall. And they produce a lot and lot of fruits, just like tomato. But you can't eat them until they become orange, white. So beautiful, isn't it? So, but if they have a lot and lot of seed, and you can grow them from seed, or you can pinch a piece and they grow. Why kangaroo apple? Because it looks like the kangaroo foot. The kangaroo feet walk, look like this, right? So interesting. So Aboriginal people from Australia call this kangaroo apple. They have been using this kangaroo apple for many medicinal use. Number one, for skin cancer and number two for infertility. So mama want to test whether they can be used for pimple or skin disease, so like monkeypox. That would be a very good one if they can protect against skin disease. And pimple would be a huge one because you remember, Alexander, your brother has pimple problem. And many, many teenagers, they also have pimple problem. If you take a piece of leaf, rubbing on this pimple and then kill, kill them, that would be beautiful, isn't it? It's really, very really useful. So Alexander, I want to make sure you keep the house in San Francisco and keep producing these beautiful, beautiful fruits. And then you can keep giving to people around the world. And it's not easy to get it. Okay, so knife is creating and sharing. And I hope you can keep sharing this beautiful, beautiful kangaroo apple. So I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.